All right, hello, beautiful. Thank you so much for being here. And if you are new, welcome. And if you love this info, hit that red button and subscribe. All right, so today in this video, I'm going to be talking, showing you exactly how to apply sunscreen perfectly so that you can be in the sun, so that you can have fun this summer and not have to be afraid or worry that you might not have enough sunscreen on. So I have in other videos showed you my technique where I apply the skin and kind of press it on. So I have been testing new ways to apply sunscreen because I've been dealing with a lot more clients that are struggling with pigmentation and melasma. So I've just been kind of testing new ways that I can teach people how to have a new technique of how to apply sunscreen because here is the truth. If you don't apply enough sunscreen to your skin, you need to apply enough. It's a large amount of sunscreen. If you don't apply enough at the beginning of the day, then the chances are that you're really not as protected as you might believe that you are. And this is the biggest issue I see, especially in San Diego, is that people will put on a little bit of a sunscreen, like a pea-sized amount, because they think, oh, well, you know, I don't wanna feel greasy, or they think that it's enough, and the truth is it's not enough. So if you just apply enough at the beginning of the day, you can be rest assured um, that you're gonna have enough protection so that you can be outside and live your life. And then when you're outside and you're in the sun or you're running or you're at the pool, or you're at the beach, then you would apply more, but I'll talk more about that in a, my next video. So I'm gonna show you right now how I've been applying my sunscreen to myself and to all of my clients because I too have been dealing with pigmentation popping back up because I've just been living a lot more in the sun recently in the last like year and a half. I've been just trying to enjoy my life and this is what I have to say too. My dear, you're supposed to enjoy your life. You're supposed to have fun and you are supposed to get some sun. You're not supposed to eliminate all absorption of sun, okay? And we're gonna talk about that in the next video that I have about this, this obsession about sunscreen and how people are not getting any sun whatsoever and that the sun is bad. I'm gonna be talking about all that, okay? Because I've come from that, I've grown out of that, I've evolved out of that to realize that we, we, I'll, I'll tell you more later in other videos. So let's get started. So I'm gonna show you right now, I'm using my sunscreen that I brought to market, which is an SPF 55. 30 is sufficient. You go higher than 30 if you want a little bit of a longer time in the sun. Not much more than 60 is gonna do much more, maybe 1% more, but a lot of times with the higher percentage of sunscreens, they often offer a higher percentage of an active or chemical sunscreen that will really help either block UVA light or UVB depending. So UVA light damages the dermis, which helps to um, you know break down collagen, and UVB light is the burning kind of sensation. So one is, one one causes pigmentation, the other causes burning, the other causes more um, dermal damage in the skin. So you need to apply about an almond size, which is quite a bit. I apply a little bit more. It's definitely more than an almond. It's about an almond and a half maybe. And what I do is I apply it into my hands like this, rub it into my hands, and I apply it on my forehead and then all over my face like this. And I just gently rub it in. I get my eyebrow area. I get all in my hairline. I get my ears, the back of my ears. And I rub that in really well. It needs to be a very thick coat of sunscreen. Most people aren't doing this because it feels greasy or gross or mo a lot of people think, oh, I don't need that much sunscreen on. And the truth is, it needs to be the right amount or you're not gonna really be getting the protection that you, that you think you are. So you rub that all in, like that. Get your neck behind your ears. Your ears, your poor ears need sun protection. A lot of people get skin cancer on their ears. And then into the back of the neck and into the hairline, okay? All the hairline. So that's all rubbed in. You really wanna rub it in all over. And I do put it a little bit over my eyelids just to make sure. All right, now I apply even more, a little bit more than a pea size amount, and I rub that in. If you have an area of discoloration that you're really trying to work on, now I take and I press it in. So it's just a, a little bit more of a white film, okay? So I can just make sure it's supposed to be thicker and it's supposed to be feeling a little sticky meaning that that means you've applied enough. And of course, sunscreen always goes on last before you apply makeup or before you apply, um, after you apply everything else. 
and then I just let that soak in and then I go get dressed and then I make sure that I have this sunscreen on my skin before I ever leave the house for 10 to 15 minutes. And the reason is more than any reason is because um, and I say this to just do this always because I'm trying to always think of how people are living like I've said in another video and how people like are rushed and we're all unconscious and we're just trying to live our life really quick. So this is my general rule of thumb. Doesn't matter. Always, no matter what, make sure that you have left the sunscreen on your skin for 15 minutes or you go out into the sun. And the reason I say that is because maybe you got a new sunscreen, but it is a physical sunscreen. And physical sunscreen, I'm gonna be talking about that in other videos of why you don't need to necessarily wait. But a lot of times they're mixed physical and chemical and you may just be in a rush and forget that the sunscreen that you're now using is a chemical well chemical sunscreens need 15 minutes to fully absorb into the skin to be able to absorb the ultraviolet light when it hits your skin physical sunscreen will shield that rays right away but a good general rule of thumb is just always get in the habit because you might not know or no sunscreens or if that one's a chemical or physical or you might have a new one or you might be with a friend or you might be on vacation or you might just be very busy and unconscious just get in the habit of always making sure that you never leave the house 15 minutes after you've applied your sunscreen just make that a habit that way you just always know that you've given your skin enough time to absorb that sunscreen so that when you do go out into the sun you're just going to be you're just going to know I have I it's soaked into my skin and it's absorbed and and now you're gonna allow that sunscreen to fully work the way that it's supposed to. So if you just put on your sunscreen and then run outside, go for a run, you have not given it any time. You're basically not getting the sun protection that you need. And I see a lot of people do this in San Diego because they're in a rush and so they go for a run or they go for a hike. They apply their sunscreen in their car and then they go for a hike and then they don't realize, well, you haven't given the sunscreen enough time to absorb into the skin so that it can actually absorb the ultraviolet light. So you just wanna make sure that you slow down and give yourself enough time to be absolutely protected from the sun with allowing the sunscreen to absorb into your skin no matter what. All right, guys, if you have any questions about sunscreen, sunscreen application or anything, feel free to ask them below this video. And if you love this info, please subscribe and remember to always stay gorgeous and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.